welcome everybody thank you for returning to my channel thank you for liking sharing and subscribing to my channel i really appreciate all the support and the love that you are giving me for today's reading i will be using the light seers tarot and the star seed oracle all the newcomers please be welcome look if this resonates of course it is a general collective reading so take what does and leave what doesn't I'm an intuitive reader, so mostly I um, get my messages through channeling. So if you are uh, subscribed to my channel, I pick up your energy that is connecting with my channel. And I'm using the cards only as tools. Angels, Archangels, Spirit Guides, Ancestors, what do we need to know for today's reading? I think that uh, you are star seeds. You're shining your light very brightly, I hear. Uh, maybe you know that already, or maybe this is some um, new information that is coming to you. No more at this moment, okay. We have here the card losing your grip. Maybe you feel that you are falling. Maybe you feel uncertain. Maybe um, you have to put in all your confidence in uh, the divine. Because it can be that this is a test. Uh, the test if you are believing them and if your uh, belief is strong enough to go with the flow. can be that uh, because you are triggered that some coping mechanisms are uh, at work right now but you have to let go of them. For some of you are uh, feeling a lot of anxiety, um, maybe this is um, a test to let go of control, but can also be uh, to not um, fall back into your addictions, and this can be everything, can be from smoking too much, uh, not uh, getting uh, exercise or eating healthy until drinking too much, uh, eating too much, uh, whatever it is. Please let, let God or the universe in the cosmos because um, give them your faith and it will all end well, I hear. So let us see what do we need to know for my lovely collective with losing your grip. Can be that you are now dealing with a very stable situation. Can be a work situation, can be a marriage, can be a, a long-term situation, can be... Um, that whatever it is, it feels very stable to you right now. What else? Um, and the universe is testing you. Testing you if you have learned your lessons. And asking you to trust them and to let go of this safety net and just go with the flow. This is also the Pisces card I hear. What do we need to know more about losing your grip? I think you have waited, you have prayed. Uh, prayed or meditated on this you have actively manifested this situation and now you have uh, to let it go normally if you manifest something or create something 
then uh, you have to let go and let go and let God or let go and uh, let the universe or the cosmos bring it in. What else about this situation? I think um, by trusting the universe and letting go of uh, control, letting go of your grip in this very stable situation, I think you will get inspired. I, I think you will get more creativity. I think you will get more certain. For some of you, you will get more spiritual. Um, I think you will see more how um, the gods or the divine is speaking to you and showing you that you can trust them. You are getting more and more confidence about that. You are getting more and more signs, more and more clarity. So have faith in this situation. And let them help you. Let them do the work for you. Because you have done everything that you could. What about the hangman? I think uh, you will see some synchronicities. Uh, some very um, clear signs or getting some kind of clarity can also be in dreams, can be through meditation or prayer. For some of you, you will get a message, a clear message from your divine that um, will give you confidence to go through this test. I think you feel uh, more and more confident because um, everything that you see is giving you more and more belief that you can let it go. I think you were waiting and waiting, uh, getting impatient and it uh, can be that because you are afraid, I think you are not seeing clear. I think you are not seeing that the divine is offering you that what you want, that that what is most, uh, that what is um, the best for you. You are looking at this tree, at this growth, and you don't see the growth because all these cups are empty. And I think that um, you are focused on, um, on the fact that you have missed a chance or uh, you don't see it um, progressing. But I think it is. And... Just let go and receive this cup, what I'm hearing. You will get the clarity, I hear. With the Knight of Wands, a sudden change, a very fast change. Uh, you will get inspired, you will get motivated. Um, can be that you are getting out of... Um, out of this uh, uncertainty and you feel confidence. You were confused. You did not what to, you did not know what to do best because you had a lot of options. But you will get the clarity what to do. Can be that you were uh, holding on very tightly. Can be that because of um, anxiety, because of your fears. And by opening up, by losing your grip, literally and figura figuratively, you will go with the flow 
and you will show the universe, the cosmos, uh, that you are open to receive. They are trying to work with you, not against you. All paths lead home. So have faith in the divine that whatever happens, if you lose this grip, that you will be safe. Can be about inner authority, can be about your intuition, can be uh, turn your gaze within. So please have confidence, everything will go as planned, like the universe has planned it for you, because they are working with you, not against you. I have to read this card I hear, all paths lead, lead home. Normally I don't read from the books, I'm an intuitive reader, but now I, before I, um, I started the reading, I already, um, was informed that I had to read from the book. That's why I had this book laying here aside. It's number 34, so it makes a 7. A 7 is a holy number. It's the number of the gods um, of uh, the universe, the cosmos. 34. It's normal to look to the external wor world for answers and guidance. What's revolutionary is turning your gaze inward. You're being called to source your guidance from within, to study the terrain of your inner landscape, to develop a reliable relationship with your soul. The more time you spend connecting with your soul, the deeper the connection will become. The challenge for empaths is staying connected without cutting off from the world. The best way to do this is to develop a daily practice that helps you to keep checking in. To draw on the wisdom within and let that be the authority in your life. If this card appears, you may be call, called up to develop or switch up your spiritual practice. Get in the habit of turning your gaze within, get centered for the day, before consuming anything from the outside world. To start from a feeling of at-homeness and throughout each day to find simple ways to keep coming home. So meditate more before you start your day. This doesn't mean switching off from realities of today's world. We need as many conscious people as, as possible to live with their eyes open wide Rather, it's a call to start your day from a place of, co of connectiveness, grace and devotion. So when you go out into the world and when you let the world in, you do it from an unshakable state of being. So get more grounded. A state where you draw your strength, your authority and guidance from a place deep within. How are you being called to turn your gaze within? That's the question. Thank you for watching. Till next time. Namaste.